confirmed look, that. What does that mean to you? I'm asking you. You've, con you've confirmed that. What does that mean to you? That an adult man can be betrothed to a child. What does that mean to you? Who has not yet reached puberty. All right, so in Islamic law, in Islam, as I said to you before, Islamic law, the nikah, the nikah is a contract. It is a business contract, actually. Okay. Ibn Khudama, he refers to it as a business contract mm. in his uh, Kitab al Nikah and the Kitab Bughni. In the sense that now there are rights but that are being put both ways, yeah? And Nikah is not necessarily talking about the fully fledged marriage where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً in Surah Al Rum, where you know he's put between your heart's love and mercy, and it's like a fully fledged situation where you have full rights. Now, nikah can be done. Uh, ad hoc way and yes in that in that situation that nikah and i'm going to use the arabic terminology that can be done but we said that when that person now becomes of adult age which they're free when, okay which is when puberty so as soon as a person reaches puberty because, they're yeah. an adult that's what you're saying yes yeah so it depends on what culture we're talking about because in, in usul fiqh there's something called al-urf al so islamic law is not just the uh, it's not just what you find in the quran sunnah there's also other what you call masadr of the Sharia. So for example, one of those is Al-Urf, which is culture. And one of the principles of Islamic law is Al-Urf Muhakkam, that culture dictates what kind of action is to be taken. So everything is contextual. If for example, a nation, yeah, let's say it's a Muslim nation, they decide to put the, the minimum age of marriage a nikah as a particular age, then that has to be respected because if if it's not respected, that would be disobedience to the authorities, which is Islam disallows and can actually issue punishments for. So depending on what the culture dictates, if we're talking about a let's say a 21st century culture in the Muslim world, then uh, quite frankly, yeah, I mean it can't it can happen like that, yeah. So in terms of like reaching puberty, so in terms of like girls, as soon as she starts menstruating, you're saying then she's old enough to be married? No, I haven't said that. I'm, I'm asking a question. No, no, no. I said that, that even before puberty, the nikah can be put in place. Yeah? Okay. But when she gets to an age where she's able now to have intercourse... Okay, that, okay well that's different. That's different from actually just reaching the, the stage of actually yeah. menstruating. No, I agree with that. Because there are many Muslims. No, I agree with that. There are many Muslims who will say, as soon as she starts menstruating, no, 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 then no, she's no, ready. Definitely there are not. many who say, yeah, yeah, that's wrong. Hence the reason why you have so many child brides throughout the Islamic world. Yeah, yeah, but we have to find what we mean by child brides. Do not survive yeah, much yeah. beyond the, the, the wedding day. All right, exactly. So if that, no, I'm not, first of all, I'd like to see this, I'd like to see the stats for that because I think there's more evidence of that by way of. Western culture than there is in the Middle East. Yeah, no, but you're talking about Western. Well, when, when we're, we're talking about America, for example, where this happens quite. Yeah, we're talking about Holland, where in the red light seven, district there's. In a, uh, America, we're talking about UK, years. where there's a slavery act. Yeah. We, yeah. Which, well, by the way, sorry, we're talking about UK, which is a slavery act. Which in that act it says it, it, it gives us a, a statistics of how many girls that are under whatever age are human trafficked and sold into whatever. We're talking about white men. Yeah, sorry, it's in there. <laughs> no, <laughs> white, really, white English, uh, you know, English men. You know, I'm not saying all of them are like that, but they go to Thailand and uh, buy a boy or something. We all know that's wrong, and we all no, no, know that's no, no, evil. But what we I'm saying, that. No, no, but what but I'm saying is, no, but you've made a sociological point. You're, 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 no, you're, I made a theological point. No, no, the, which the, is let me, your, what's your, your religion. Name? Your religion. What's your name? You can call me Ado. Ado? Yeah. You made a sociological point when you said that in the Muslim world, you said this way, you said in the Muslim world, hold, the Muslim hold, hold, world. hold on, you said in the Muslim world, yes. there are many girls who don't survive the first night. Correct. I'm saying that I would like to see what statistics you are citing because we actually have statistics in the West that indicate to us the extent to which human trafficking is actually a thing. Yeah. In this country, for example, I cited the Slavery Act. There are, there are statistics that show how many people, by the way, women, and if you look at the Slavery Act and how many girls are, that are under a certain age are human trafficked in this country and in the West in general, you'll find that a lot of them come from other parts of the world. Yeah. Like for example, from Poland, uh, we're talking about from Africa and so on. Yeah. So why I don't know what this hyperfixation of talking about the Muslim world is when it's happening on our doorsteps that people are being literally sold. It is. Probably in your area, I, in London. I agree. I totally agree. The difference is this. The people who are doing that, whether they're traveling to Thailand, whether it's doing it happening on my doorstep, those people by and large are not saying, I'm doing this because I have the green light from Almighty God. Whereas, That's it. No, whereas no, 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 throughout, no. throughout the Islamic world, there are many people, many men who marry child yeah, you're, you're, because they take the example from, from the Islamic prophet, 
okay. him himself taking a so, child bride, okay. and therefore they're saying that's the difference. Okay, well, the, no, no, hold on. The, the example, of, the Islamic prophet was there was a there was a respite period. So why did he, if this was the case where you could just marry whatever age you want, why didn't he just, why didn't he just consummate the marriage as soon as he married her? Why saying, did he wait three years? I'm, all I'm saying no, is can that, you ask this question? No, hold on, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll come to it in a second. I'm just saying that they're following the so-called prophet, the Islamic prophet. They're, te they're following no, no, his, but you, his example. I've responded to that by saying, example, yes. if, they were, example. if they were following the Islamic prophet, the, the thing is with this, uh, the issue here, the issue of, you're talking about marriage. Yes. We're saying, Here's, what, here's my stance on the matter. Let me be very clear about it. When it comes to fully fledged understanding, conventional understanding of marriage, where intercourse is understood as well, we say so long as it causes harm, it should be stopped. That's my understanding. Now you may ask who gets to define harm? Because that's a very valid question. I say the specialists get to define harm. How do, you, how, do I define, how do I prove that from the Islamic paradigm? I prove that through two evidences. One of them is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in kuntum la ta ask the people of specialism if you don't know. And the other one is in the hadith of the Prophet where he says, Man wa lam yakum nafsan fa huwa That whoever acts as a doctor and he's not known as a doctor and he is he harms somebody, then he's responsible. Therefore, my understanding is if somebody is physically and psychologically capable of intercourse. Whatever age that is, I don't see it as an immoral thing for that person to engage in a fully fledged relationship. Now, the West has confused itself as to what that age should be. Some parts of the West say it should be 14 years old. Some say, no, it should be 15 years old. Historically, it went back to 10. Delaware had a seven, by the way. Delaware, this is 100 years ago. Delaware, the state in America, the age of marriage was seven. In 1929 in this country, the Marriage Act changed the age of consent from 12 to 16. Now we are we we believe pedophilia is sorry Ado, let me just continue. We believe pedophilia is anything that anyone that has sex with someone under the age of 16. I'm saying to you that this is a very recent contemporary phenomena. Now what I'm proposing is that if we want to call something almost a psychological disorder, which is pedophilia, right? Psychological disorder, it must have and by the way interestingly in the psychological literature it's not actually this psychological literature the way they define children is not the way that the law defines children so when one when looks at the historical record the psychological literature the medical literature will find that actually that there isn't a age which is fixed that says this age is where you become a pedophile and this age is where you become a normal member of society so if you're in russia and you have a 14 year old uh, sexual partner you're following the law but if you had the same exact setup in the uk you're a sex offender yeah. we say that's a, that is an unusual way of labeling the public we say that's an unscientific manner of which you're dealing with this uh, situation and we would say you it's upon the it's upon you to show that whoever it is that's making the argument that it should be 16 and not say 15 and not say 14 and i would go further than this and say it could also be noted that you can have people over the age of 16 that from the islamic perspective it would be not allowed to marry them for example, yeah, yeah. if you have a 17 year old girl, but she's let's say malnourished or she has a, a, a sexual, um, some kind of ailment or something like that, or a man that has a disease or whatever it is, it would be immoral from an Islamic perspective for that man to be in a sexual relationship. Even though it's over the age of 16. Like I said to him before, if I have intercourse, well, not me or here's somebody else, some big man, <laughs> has an intercourse with a centurion, what's it called, centurion, like a 100 year old person, having sex, this and that, hold the, the clavicle, go, you know, I could kill the person. Now, in this, according to this law, I would nothing would happen. I can have sex with a hundred year old, ninety year old, eighty year old. You know, I can go to the old folks' home and close the door and let's do what I want. Flex. No, no, no not I'm, I'm just saying that the idea is flawed. When you say, for example, let me ask you a question. Let me yeah. be honest. Let me, sorry, let me ask you a fifteen year old woman, yeah, with with big hips and a strong body. Who would be harmed the more in a sexual intercourse, her or a hundred year old woman? Who's in her last days yeah, of her you're life? Deflected. You're deflected. You're no, deflected. I'm not deflected. I'm asking we're talking a question. about children. I'm not we, a know, we know that puberty starts at different ages for different people. I'm not people. talking about we puberty. Know this. I'm talking about harm. I'm, I'm, to I'm talking about that because it's relevant to what we're saying. I'm, I'm we know saying that, harm. that that changes depending on the person. So some people may reach the age of puberty at 13. Some people may reach the age of puberty at 16. We know this, mm -hmm. but we're saying that. But I'm not mentioning puberty either. I didn't I'm, say I'm, I said harm. By I'm, the way, but I'm mentioning. Okay, fine. And so the point is, 
the reason why in the context of this conversation and asking questions, I said there are many Muslims who say that as soon as a girl starts menstruating, then she's ready. Okay, but and, as and I said, the Prophet goes against this because the Prophet ﷺ, he said in the hadith, لا ضرر ولا ضرر. There is no harming or reciprocating harm. This is a general principle in Islam. In fact, the Usulis, the, 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 the people who are specialists in uh, principles of jurisprudence, they say one of the guiding principles of Islam is at dararu yuzal that harm is to be averted. And by the way, a Shatabi, who is seen as the master of this topic, which wrote a book called Muafaqat in the 8th century, he said that principles in Islam or Qawaid are more encompassing than individual evidence. And you may say, how could it be the case that a principle is stronger than an evidence, like a Quran, Sunnah evidence? He said, because the principle is composed of many evidences. So the, the fact that one of the principles of Islam is that harm is to be averted, is not just something that liberals say, the harm principle, by the way. So you could do whatever you want. So like, we have a stronger thing than that. We say you're not allowed to cause harm to yourself as well as other people. So what we're saying is this, is that you're, all of the scenarios you're bringing are situations where harm is caused. I'm saying any situation where it can be established uh, beyond a reasonable doubt that any harm is caused uh, and that can be said by specialists of that area, we would say it's haram to do it. Haram. Is that, is that physical and psychological? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Both, yeah? It is. Well, it is so, haram. But the point is that many there are many child brides within the Islamic world okay. because of the following the example of your prophet. Okay, can you give me some there's examples and stats, please? There are plenty, there are plenty of child brides. No, 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 I want and, to, and then, where, where, where? Then, you try to where make, then you try to make the parallel between what's happening about human trafficking are you saying in the no, West. Shalom. In yeah. the West. That's what you're trying to make that. I'm asking, the point where's, is where's in the, the West, yeah, yeah. they're not claiming to be following God. Okay, All right. Okay. We're talking about people who are doing yeah, this yeah, yeah. because they're following the example. Can you give me some examples? Prophet. Wait, let me finish. Give me some examples. Wait, let, let me finish. Yeah. Because because of what Islam says that Muhammad is the greatest example to all humankind. Okay. A man who married a six-year-old girl. Okay. Well, as I said to you before, he didn't have intercourse with our until she was nine. Well, that's the point. The point is, why did he wait? The question is, why did he wait? My is, question is, why is did that, he wait? Is that a virtue for him to wait why, until no, no, she was nine? No, no. Why did he wait? When did she start? No, no. Why when did, did she start? Why did when he did wait? He, why did he wait? I yeah. don't know why he waited. You tell me no, why no, he waited. Why doesn't it? Because the idea that you're trying to spring forward to us today, right, hold on, is that you're making the argument that Islam encourages. Yep. Following the example. In following the example of Prophet Muhammad, no, and therefore people get married to youngsters Indeed. who are harmed yes, because they're following. Now, I'm saying to you, I've already explained the evidences that the Prophet himself disallowed harm. Okay. We've also got an additional evidence that Aisha. Had were well, waited three to four years actually. Yeah. Now my question is. Nine. Okay. My question is, if it was unrestricted, then why wait? Yeah. By the way, just let me tell you something. In the, in the four schools of Islamic thought, by the way, there's ijma, there's consensus that you cannot be an adult before the age of nine, and that you are an adult at the age of fifteen. That's where the, that's where the thing is. So from between nine and fifteen, we say that's where adulthood is. Okay. Okay. So between nine and fifteen. Just because we have a different understanding of what adulthood is, it doesn't mean to say that the West is right. Now, now here, my question is now, we're saying it can be anywhere between 9 and 15. Yeah. 9 and 15. Now, but how, having said that, even if a 15-year-old, 16-year-old, 17-year-old is physically incapable of uh, giving rights of the husband or the wife, if it's, a if it's a male or female, depending on what they are, if they're physically incapable, then they would not be allowed to Get into, if they do get into a marriage, then that would, they would be sinful. The community would be sinful. The persons who know that they have this baggage with them is sinful. Everyone is sinful. So what I'm saying is that you're saying that Islam allows something. I'm saying that Islam denies it and that there's strong evidence. In fact, I would like to know anything as restrictive as Islam. I would like to know, the, I would like to know, I would like to know anything as restrictive. Because look at the Bible, for example. Now, hold on. You mentioned the Quran. My point is that if you look at the Bible, there's nothing that restricts that. In fact, in the book of Numbers, you're a Christian, right? You got the cross, right? In the book of Numbers, chapter number 31, verse number 18, it's mentioned that Moses, when he goes into a, 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 the, 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 the nation, that you can take the young girls for yourself. Now, according to the Babylon Talmud, according to the, the Talmud or the, the Jews, they said that taking the young girls for yourself were, were girls that had never known a man yet, by the way. These, these girls, by the way, had been understood for thousands of years by Jewish people to be girls that can be enslaved by men, okay? There's no abrogation of this anywhere in the Bible. 
So my scriptures, as I've just mentioned to you, disallow the harm that is caused by the sexual intercourse. Your scriptures have no such disallowance. But the reality is that many girls are harmed. Okay, you're making because the same point. Because they're following the example are you, are you of the girl that brother. Exactly. Many, many, many girls, are the re that's the reality. Okay. You're many girls are being harmed yeah, okay. throughout the Islamic world. I'm making a scriptural argument right now. Okay, throughout the Islamic world, many girls are being harmed because of this. Okay. So in, within Christianity, we follow the example of Jesus. Okay. That's what the example we're following. Okay. Now, Islam says that Muhammad is the greatest example for all human kind. Okay. I'm saying that Jesus Christ. Okay, great. Is, wait, let me finish. Of course. Is the greatest, greatest example for all human kind. Whereas even the, even the, the Quran says that Jesus never sinned. Even the Quran says that Jesus was born of a miracle. Okay, brother, let me ask you a question. But, but yeah. was Muhammad without sin? No, he wasn't. Okay, that's what you're saying. But here's what no, I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. I'm saying what the Quran says. No, the Quran, yeah, the Quran say. says that Jesus was without sin. Okay, look, we agree so that I'm, So I'm saying sin. that Jesus is the greatest example okay. for all humans. Oh, no, Jesus no, no, please, please, bro, 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 one second. Let me just, let me come back, right? Go on. My question to you is this, yeah? Do you believe that having sex with a child in your understanding of it, someone who's, let's say, prepubescent and incapable, that we both agree that that person is a child, both of us would agree, right? A four-year-old, for example, a five-year-old. We all agree a five-year-old is a child, a six-year-old is a child. Okay. okay. Yes. Having sex with that age, yeah? Do we both agree that that's immoral? That's wrong? Yes. Okay, no problem. Do we agree that it's immoral in all times and all places? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, it's, so, uh, so, uh, so I, I would say that was wrong, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's, it's wrong in all times and places. Now, Jesus Christ, you believe in the Trinity, correct? I believe in, in the God of the Bible. Right. So Jesus Christ was, uh, the tri was is part of a triune Godhead, correct? Right. All right. Okay, right. Which means he's the author of the Old Testament, correct? Right. Okay. Correct. So if he's the author of the Old Testament, he is the one in the book of, oh, let me finish. He's the, he's the one in the book of Numbers, chapter 31, verse number 18. Mm -hmm. That's telling the people to have, to take the young girls for yourself. So what's Jesus Christ, who you say is, wait, hold on. Who you say is the guide? Who you he say is the example? Uh, he's the example. He's the, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, that's all right. okay. He's so, the example. No problem. Jesus Christ, who is the example? Who is the he's guide? The example. Who's the one without sin? He, he commanded to sin, correct? He, he did not command to sin. So, so wait a minute. So no. what it says in in, in 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 Numbers chapter thirty-one, verse eighteen, is it a sin or not? Listen, I'm not saying that you're allowed to do that at all. So, so I'm Jesus was wrong. Go, no, I'm not saying Jesus was wrong. So what Jesus, is it? It's a dilemma, Jesus, isn't it? No, Jesus, Jesus is right. So Jesus, Jesus is right to have sex with Jesus, the girls. No, no, no ones. I'm not saying that. Does he say have sex with them? He could take them for yourself. Does he say have sex with them? Take them for yourself. Take them for yourself. Does yeah. it say have sex? What are you going to do? What are you going to do with them? <laughs> Does it say have sex? You, with have, you can do more than have sex. Does it say have sex with them? You can do more than it that. It doesn't say have sex with them. You can do the more point, than that. The point is, the point is, with your prophet, we know that he married a six-year-old girl. No, no, Let no, me no, finish. You're, you're, You've done most of the talking. Okay, go ahead, please. He married her when she was six, and then, we know that he consummated. I won't even call it a marriage. You don't have to call it anything. You be, you just said we know that, that you agree. That, we know that he had sex with her when she was nine. Listen. I've just, uh, no problem. I'm saying to you this. No, it is a problem. It okay, is a problem. Use a problem. No, it is, of course it's a problem. Okay, it is okay. a problem no, no for me problem. and it's a problem for a lot of people in the world. No problem. But it should it be a problem. problem. So, so what, it's uh, a problem for, for so, grown so, men having sex with a nine-year-old So girl. Jesus was wrong to say to, well, hold up. Jesus. I've already said, it doesn't what, say it? go and have sex. So what does it say? It doesn't say, you just Take said. Them that, yourself. Take them for yourself. We're going to do with them. for yourself. We're going to do with them. It doesn't say have sex. What are you going to do with them? It doesn't say what are you have sex. What are you going to do with them? It doesn't you have say sex? have sex. Can you have sex? But we know that can you have your, sex prophet, with can you have your sex? prophet did have sex Ado, with a nine-year-old girl. Ado, according to that. Ado, we know that your prophet did have sex. You're not answering my question. You're not answering my question. We know that. I've already said. I've answered it when I said it doesn't Ado, say Ado. It doesn't say have sex. I'm saying can. Are you allowed? Is allowance given? It doesn't say is have sex. Is allowance given? Yes or no? I don't know. It doesn't say have sex. I don't know. But here's the reality. What we know. What we know. No problem. Yeah. The reality, what we do know is that your prophet well, had sex with a nine-year-old no, girl. No, what we That's do what know we is you're throwing stones in the glass. So, so, no, 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 yeah, I'm exactly. not throwing stones so, 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 at all. So you just said... I'm take, speaking out against well, anybody, well, well, any well, grown well, man who has sex So Jesus, your God was wrong so when he was Bible saying having sex. If the Bible says that, then we can we can see for ourselves. All right, so is so it right get or wrong? It, so get it out and tell me. Take it yourself. I don't need to get it out. Yes, okay. Take the young ones for yourself. Okay. Young ones. Young ones that have never known a man. Never known a man? Okay, yeah. Okay, so what are you going to do it say? Does it say have sex with them? That's allowance. According to that, according to hold on, 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 hold on. Here's here's why here's where you're cornered. With all due respect, yeah. Listen to me. Does it say have sex with them there and then? No, you're getting triggered. You're getting triggered. You're getting triggered, man. Does it say have sex with them there and then? Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. I'm not saying that it says have sex. Sorry. 
You said something. You said something. You said something. Can you repeat it again? I don't listen to me. He said something in my okay, okay. today. I don't listen to me. Listen. No, bro. I'm, I've not I'm I have not said that the you can you can have sex with the command. I'm saying it's giving allowance. Do you understand? That's what you're hold, saying. Hold, hold, hold. That's what you're hold saying. Hold on. You, are you making the claim? That in Islam it says you have to have sex with a child. I'm I'm making the claim that your prophet married a no, no, okay, okay. That's the claim no, I'm no, making. So, so, so good. And therefore, good, good, good. So it's not, no, no, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. So let me finish. Nine, nine, nine. And there, therefore, six. therefore, yeah. as it's claimed that he's the greatest example for humankind. No problem. There, no, no, there, there is a problem. Is that, is that, is that immoral? Problem. Immoral. There are many people in the Islamic world yeah. who see that as a green light to get married to a child. No problem. And then have sex. With is that your argument? He then had sex with a nine-year-old girl. Okay, I've got, I've got it. He had a I've got, I've, I've got it. I've got it. My response to you is this. You've listened to this. Very interesting, yeah? He said, he agreed with me, Ado agreed, that the Bible is authored by the Trinity. That Jesus is part of the Trinity. The Old Testament is part of the Bible. Therefore, Jesus, he agreed, is the author of the Old Testament. Now, in that, we also said, Jesus is the author of the Old Testament, yeah? That's all been agreed. Now, we looked at Numbers, chapter number 31, verse number 18. And it says, the young ones who have never known a man, take them for yourself. Talking about girls. Young girls that have never known a man, young ones, never, oh now. He said that now, with Islam, men in the middle of the I don't know what country he's talking about, they take the Prophet as a you guide. Know, uh, uh, well, I, no, no problem. numerous Islamic countries. Okay, numerous Islamic countries. Okay. No problem. Uh, we said that he hasn't been. Yeah. yeah, you know, he hunches and anecdotes, but no problem. Hunches and anecdotes. It, it isn't an anecdote. No, it's well documented. Well documented. There, no are, problem. there, are, there are girls. Let there finish. are girls who are who let me, die let me, as a result. Okay, no problem. So it's well documented. Let me finish. Now, the Talmud, which is the jurisprudential text of the Jewish people, for example. Not the word of God. Let me finish what I'm saying. If your argument is that this book is leading this action, my arg counter argument to you that the Babylonian Talmud and the Jeru there's two major Talmuds, the Jerusalem Talmud and the Babylonian Talmud. The Babylonian Talmud, the exegetes or those, uh, those uh, kind of, uh, you can call them spiritual leaders that were making a reference to chapter 31 verse 18 of Numbers, they understood it as having sex with young girls, taking them as slaves and having sex with them. My question to him was, before, is it wrong in any time and place to have sex with young girls? He said, yes. Now, if Jesus is the one who is commanding something which is allowing sex with young girls. And he doesn't mention and, sex. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He doesn't mention hold on, sex. Hold on, but no, that's, no, hold on. He doesn't hold mention on, hold sex. On. Hold on. Is he said something which a lot, which people understood the primary audience? He's saying it's about guidance. How about people understood it sociologically? Yeah. Well, then the same argument could be made about the Jews. They understood it as what as having sex with young girls. If that is the case, that an injunction of the of a text that uh, can be understood in a manner which would have the net effect of leading to sex with young girls then that's exactly happened with chapter 31 verse 18 How of, many of the Jewish and the prophets evidence had of sex that, with young girls? And listen, no, no, that's well, not that you're changing no, no, the goalposts. No, 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 you're you're changing the goalposts. I'm not, you're changing I'm not, the no, no, I'm not. You're changing How the goalposts. How many, if Moses you're changing is, the goal post. Moses yeah, is the order of numbers. numbers. Why would it mention Moses that they just the question you just had. No, no, but if you leave that for now. Yeah. Moses okay. is the if order never of numbers. Girls, no, no, okay. Did Moses, did Moses marry a child? No, no, no. How yeah. many of the Old Testament I'm, prophets got married to his girlfriend? You're changing the goalposts. You're changing the goalposts. I'm not changing the goalposts. You are changing the goalposts. Your prophet, your prophet married a child. Okay, you can Okay, keep saying that. Your God. I can say Stop, 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 stop. Jesus married three years old. Thank you, thank you. Prophet. My response is, the question is, that's, if no, that's I, my question. That's my question. Uh, okay, you can argue, Isaac. You can argue, you can argue that. You can, but why Isaac, is it? Isaac got married. You can to argue. Three year old. You're talking. Hold on, hold on. Hold where on. did you get that from? Him? Please, look. please. Him? You can argue. Okay. No. Isaac did not get married Adol, to a Adol. three year old. Adol. Hold on a second. Ado. Rebecca was not three years, Adol. Of, Adol. Three years of age. Ado, listen. Hold on, wait a minute. Lot had sex with his hold daughters. On. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. According okay. to the Bible. Okay. Lot had sex with his daughters. Is that okay? Not three years of age. Wait, hold on. She was feeding the camel. Lot had sex with him. Lot had sex with his daughters in the Bible. He did. Was it right? No, we say this. Uh, was it right? Your understanding. But was it right? We don't believe in it. Was it right? Was he right? It. Was he right to do that? We don't believe in that happened. No, no okay. I'm saying that the Bible you're says You're all that over happened. the place, Ado. You are I'm not all, gonna, you're all over the place. You just asked me a question. You just cited. Ado, excuse me, excuse me. 
You just asked the question, how many prophets of the Old Testament married a child? Yes. I'm saying, okay, so what is your, this has a... To answer has that a, question. This presupposition that the prophets in the, in the Old Testament are depicted in a manner which is morally acceptable. I said, okay, are you talking about the same Old Testament that says that Lot had sex with his daughters or the same Old Testament in the book of Genesis where Noah came out naked in front of Ham his, his, uh, hey, by the way, Ham, was it right? My question, I'll get back to my question. Let me finish. Was it let me, right? Let me finish. No, no, let me, I've let you finish. Was it right? Do you want to time it? Was it right? Do you want to time it? Was it, was it, right? Time it? Was it right? Do you want to time it? I've asked a simple question. Was, was it right, it right according to whom? To God. Was it right? We don't believe it, my friend. Okay, you don't believe it happened. We don't believe it happened. Okay, objectively speaking, if it happened, you don't believe it We don't it believe that it can okay, happen you, with a prophet. You don't believe it happened. We don't believe it can happen. Okay. You don't believe what? You don't believe a man can commit sin? No, we believe. You don't that believe a prophet can commit sin. You don't understand what I'm, you see, no. you, This is where conversation deteriorates. You're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. Prophets commit sin. Oh, no the problem. prophets commit sin. No problem. The only one who was without sin is Jesus. Okay, okay. okay. Now you're, bro. Please, please. Yeah. Listen. What I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. See how this guy came. Yeah. yeah? He came. He said, your prophet had said with Aisha, we've heard that a thousand times of before course, the yeah, recycle tape. We no problem. Break. We came and said, okay, fine. Mm. This is where we are in the conversation right now. He said, because of your prophet's actions, people in the Muslim world, right? He said, people in the Muslim world. Yeah, numerous people in the Muslim world are having sex with women to the point where they can't even survive Girls. the first night. Yeah, correct? You, that's his argument. Therefore, because of that, Islam is not a good religion or whatever it may be because it's leading to this kind of action. I'm saying if it's the case. It's not a question whether it's a good religion. Okay, whatever. It's a question of whether it's the truth. Okay, no problem. It's not the truth. Therefore, it's not the truth. Okay, no problem. Even stronger, even stronger argument. Now, here I'm saying this. If that is your argument, that some text of a scripture leads others to understand that it's okay to have sex with young females, then the text of Numbers, chapter 31, verse 18, which has been understood by rabbis for thousands of years, which says that take the young girls for yourself, slave, enslaving them, number one, enslaving them, then having sex with them. That text, by the way, would what have the mention having sex with them. It says, what does it mention? No, it says have okay. them for yourself, Don't which have, they've never known a man before. Okay. The context was understood to the rabbis as allowance for sexual intercourse. And that's why I asked the question: now, How many people? It. How many prophets in the Old Testament? Now that's actually, got nothing to do with what I'm it saying. Has, it has. So it has. If, if we're talking about legitimate, whether it's legitimate. Do you, do you see how you, it's, it's done, bro? No, it's no. done. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, you, 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 we're talking if, about if whether it's Jesus right or wrong. Christ is the author of the Old Testament, as you agreed that he was, then this commandment... He said that Moses spoke of me. It doesn't matter. He's still the author Jesus of the... Jesus said he... Moses doesn't the matter. He's the one inspiring me. Moses because he's part of the triune God. You agreed to that before. Don't try and no, run away from I'm him now. Run away from him at all. Great. I believe so in the God of the so Bible your without God, a doubt. Your God, Make no mistake your about God that. allowed... Your God, according to you, allowed men to take young girls and do whatever they want with them. Is that so good if or you're bad? Looking, if you're looking at the false? Old Testament, if you're yeah. looking at the Old Testament, yeah, say there, it now. where God says, yeah. go and slay those people in that country, yeah, yeah. does that mean murder is right? If I, if I take that? Yeah, is, that is, God, that? is God sanctioning murder? Oh, yes, no, he, he isn't. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. He isn't. So you look at the context of that. Why not? He isn't sanctioning Why not? For the simple reason he's already said in the Ten Commandments that murder is wrong. Yeah, but except in this okay. situation. Except in this situation where you go and do he genocide. Said in this he said in this, in this context there, the Ten Commandments that murder is wrong. It's wrong, but it's okay in this context where you're going into a new city with the Amalekites, uh, uh, Second Samuels, where you can kill everything, man, woman, child, and even donkey, the donkey. donkey. What are you talking about? If God, okay, if what's God, worse, having sex with someone, it is arguable, I don't know what you're going to say. Having sex with a child or killing the child? I don't know which one's worse. I don't know. I actually don't know. Having sex with a child, when I say a child here, I'm talking, let's say about a five-year-old. Let's say, let's say, okay, five-year-old. Having sex with a five-year-old, is that worse? Or killing the five-year-old, is that worse? Which one is worse? Are they both bad? They're both bad. Okay, They're great, bad. great. They're now, Jesus is the author of the Old Testament. <laughs> Did he command to killing children? God commanded to kill people in the Old Testament, correct? Including, yes. including yes. children? God commanded, yes. Is God that right or wrong? God commanded. If God commanded it, he's the author of life. God is the author of life. God is the author of life.
You're done, you're done. Yeah, you're done. done. You're done. Right. Right. By the way, you're finished now. Okay. Okay. By the way, you're done. Now. God is the author of life. You know you're done. God in the you know he's done now. God, God, God is the author of life. You know, so God in the Old Testament says go and kill them. Yes, yeah, so it's okay. Yeah, so, 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 God, so it's okay to kill a child. That's what God says. That's what God that's what God says. But we're talking about ah, the example What are you here. doing here? The example. What are you doing in front of me? The example. What are you doing in front of me? The example. See, here you are. No, honestly, what are you doing explain, in front of me? I'm asking about your religion. No, but you failed. I'm asking. It doesn't matter you, about John, whether. It's not okay, about okay. me failing. You, might, you may leave now. You care. You, may you leave care now. about your ego. No, I, you need done, a reputation. It's done. It's you need it's followers done. online. I don't need it. I don't need followers. Okay, good. I couldn't care less about followers. It's done now. I couldn't care less about popularity. You know me. I'm poor. You know, yeah. I know that you need followers. Okay, great. And you okay. need pop. You, need I'm a you know what? Islam will it's turn on you. I, okay, no problem. You're because finished. you're such a gift okay. against Islam. Okay, thank you. Islam will turn. If on I was you. such a gift, you wouldn't be standing in front of me. Islam will turn on you with a cross. All the people, <laughs> all all the people who are laughing and supporting you today, I'm telling you now. It's going to oh. turn on you. Okay, oh, let them. You, Islam will the turn on you. Children. The same people okay, will so turn so on you. Summary, summary. The summary, summary is this. The summary is this. The summary is this. Summary is this. There are little girls oh. today who are dying today. There were little girls a couple of thousand years so, so, ago got murdered. So, summary, he no? just admitted oh, yeah, he that so long as his so, God says it, there are little it's girls killing a child who are dying. dying. Killing a they're child dying right. today yeah. because they're right. following yeah. the example of your prophet. So it's okay. So your prophet as... married okay. a six-year-old girl. Done now, bro. Who, and then, who went on and to then be a general sex and a leader. She was nine. Massive, uh, did Jesus do that? Okay. Jesus, Jesus didn't do commanded that. to kill a child. Did, though, right? Jesus did not marry did, a child. Did, did, did Jesus command Jesus to kill a child? Didn't lie. Did Jesus command Jesus to kill a child? Yes or no? Didn't kill anybody. Did Jesus command to kill a child? Jesus didn't did kill anybody. Answer my question. Answer my question. It is how it works. Answer my question. If I tell you to kill someone, you go kill someone. I can tell myself I didn't kill him, but you did, and then the law will come back onto me saying I'm part of it because I've set you up. Of course. Yes. So Jesus told you to kill someone. But Jesus is part of the murder. Jesus didn't tell Jesus didn't kill anybody. He didn't marry I'm any child. I'm asking you: no, no, is, Did Jesus ask to kill? A, did Jesus command the Amalekites to be exterminated? Again, you're talking about the Old Testament. Doesn't matter. It does matter. Did he do it? Yes or no? Did he do it? Yes or no? Because those people are coming against the people of Israel. It does matter. Does he do it? Yes or no? I've already answered that. Did he do it? Yes or no? I've already answered that. Yes or no? I've already answered that. Yes or no? Where I said God commanded. God commanded them to go and kill them. Did he do it? I've already answered that. Did he do it? Yes or no? I've already answered that. God commanded. Them to go and kill them. Including God, the children. Why didn't kill God them just all. kill him in Jesus? That's what he said. God. Okay. It's just God. When God. No, I don't. Okay. I don't. No, 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 no. Hold on. So God, Jesus God, commanded to God, kill a child. God can kill if he wants to. Because he's God. He can take but life said, and he can give life. He can kill here's the, here's, so here, 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 here's the example. What can we say? Here's the example. God sent a flood throughout the world. The only people who survived. The only people who survived was Noah and his family. It is God who killed them. God can do everything. Exactly. <laughs> it is up to God. God, God gives life and he can take away life. It's done now. God can do that. Anything else you want to say to me? I couldn't care less about any more popularity. Well, any more questions? I couldn't care less about popularity. What's to do with I mean, I, Regarding... I she was engaged to Muta okay. and Bun Zubair and... Don't defend it. Don't say she was an all All bleed and adultery. Don't say... Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't be I don't lie. Don't say that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You. I don't care. I'm, I'm glad. glad at the time. I'm so glad I'm weak. Water up. It's nothing to because do with you. Because you've lost the God, argument. I couldn't care about winning arguments, Careful. scoring points, no, or being popular. No, but it makes what a massive matters, difference. What matters, You're responsible for your information you're putting out. What matters, what matters is, is the responsible truth. for people what matters is condemning the truth. them to what matters hellfire. What matters is your so called And you don't care. Your so called prophet. Okay, married a child and children are dying today okay, as a result. That's all you can say. Well, I do care. No, 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 I do care. Are we done? Go to hellfire. I care right, about your soul going go to hellfire. Right. Right. I care about you. Let's go over here and let's, 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 let's talk. He's done now. There is no salvation. Yeah, just come over here and let's talk. This guy's done now. He's finished. Run out of bullets. Go on. Let's go. In the Old Testament. So, as we saw. Open up, man. Your one's good. Your one looks alright. <laughs> As we saw there, with that discussion, he started off with a very well-known interrogation, and then when he when when he when when then we started to investigate his own beliefs. We saw the most unusual and disturbing of double standards.
There is no he stated very clearly Islam. that Jesus there is no commanded to kill the Islam. people, and kill children, and kill animals, why. kill women. When you're following a man, so God, why are you coming and telling girl. us about the Prophet's well, marriage to Aisha? Why? We've already when explained man, that there are certain God, things. We've already explained prophet that prophet the Prophet married Aisha was capable of doing that. Jesus did not marry a six-year-old girl. Are you really comparing that with the killing of a child? You're also called Prophet, the greatest example. Yeah. Anyway, it's done now. Yeah. There's nothing more one can say. It's done. It's finished. So let's have a chat. We've never met. Why are you going to get that straight, Mike? If you don't end up in the same standard, that's why little girls are dying today. What's your name? It's why little girls are dying today. So, Muhammad. Because they're following this example. For 2,000 years, your church has killed and abused even boys. As we see, there's so many misconceptions the that people of have of the religion of Islam. They try and deplete the nuances from the religion of Islam I couldn't by care attacking, less about not listening, I couldn't care not, less about not followers. engaging. I'm not here but for then friends. when we put I'm the not here for arguments to them, I'm we realize that they don't really have much I'm here to offer. About the truth. So there's a place where we make our arguments and we believe we have the strong ones. Only Jesus but we would consider, Jesus. consider the most antagonistic interrogation of the religion of Islam. But Jesus will take you to heaven. And now he's heckling. It's all about he's heckling. Jesus. He's, he's all about resorted Jesus. to heckling. But we're trying to yeah. justify it. Not you. Taking not, you. Not, not, not you. Him. Taking he's heckling. He's heckling. We're done. Taking it out of context. If you don't want popularity, why do you keep coming into my cameras, brother? We're done with that. We're finished. You want We don't We don't need you anymore. But Islam will turn on you. Okay, great. All your followers will turn on you. The camera, so, so let it be recorded. moving on, yeah, moving on. Your following How long have you, you been coming down here? On and off for about six to seven years. Six to seven years, I think. Six years. So during that time, I'm here. I'm led to believe you have Jesus. a channel. Correct. Talk yes. Talk to me about and Jesus. How many followers? Talk to me about Jesus. Jesus. I don't know. He knows no, more about no, 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 no. It's not about followers. <laughs> I'm just getting to a point. Yeah. He knows more followers? about my popularity than I do. You know. No, no. So over the years, how many followers? I know that's what you want. Have you managed to? I know that you, your <laughs> ego is you know, like. Let's pretend. You need let's that pretend that ego, I have Sergeant. a big ego. It doesn't mean Christianity yeah. is true. Yeah. No, no, no. But let, even if I was the worst man in the world, even if I was the worst man in the world with the biggest ego and that and the. You just the most ferocious appetite for popularity. It wouldn't make Islam false and it wouldn't make Christianity true. Coming back to my point, nothing you can do in regards to your the followers. Truth. The truth how many is the followers truth. over the last six years have you managed to accumulate? Is that because you want to know for your own channel? No, no, there you go. No, 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 the reason I'm asking you the question, sir, He's going to get jealous, this man. The reason I'm he needs, this man like, needs to know that jealousy is a dangerous it's game, it's especially dangerous. if you play it with me. Dangerous. Surely if people follow you, they must believe in now, what huh? you are saying. Me? Yeah, so yeah, they you. must believe uh, no, Not necessarily. He's following me. He's an avid fan. He doesn't believe a single word I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, but, but tell me, in regards to Speaker's Corner, what is it about this place that attracts so many different people speaking about religion? What is it specifically here? Is it because you can engage... I'll be honest with you, my friend. What's your name? Sorry, my name is Wendell Daniel from Street Mike. Okay, uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sir. My name is Wendell Daniel, and what I From like street, to do, mate, like, yeah? street Mike, and what I like oh, to Mike. do, yeah, I yeah. like to engage with people. No, I understand. And ask look, look. The thing is, look, we as Muslims, yeah. yeah, when it comes to mainstream media, I had a conversation with the BBC right mm. here over there. I was having a conversation. When, I'm we, not when, now. when we get into mainstream media, mm. it's always a narrative that's not ours. Mm. It's always we are fitted within the greater hegemonic narratives of mm. the powers that be. Mm. In this place, they have not been able to manipulate our speech. What we're saying is unfiltered. Uh, when we overpower our enemies, not through ourselves, but because we have stronger argumentation, that is allowed to be broadcast. And that's been happening now to a point of great frequency with different people here. And the reason why Sunni Muslims in particular have been able to get the kind of uh, following in this place as it has and they have been able to do what they've been doing is simply because it's a bit like survival of the fittest, okay? The, the best ideas they raise to the top. I've not seen a single person in six years of coming to Speaker's Corner convert to Christianity in this place. Not one person. And why do you think that is? Because it's a false faith. <laughs> hey, yeah, right. 
thousands yeah, right. people are disillusioned you keep lying. with the idea of the Trinity, idea that God is man, that the, the Bible is from God. And the amount see, you know, of Muslims of who email us saying fallacy. that we're out, fallacy of we're out of this this cult. See, look, the, the, see, see it's, it's interesting that he he references the emails that he gets of Muslims leaving, not Christian people becoming Christian. But I'm not interested in him. I'm, I'm interested in you. Yes. What advice would you give for those? who are considering the possibility of coming down to Speaker's Corner to engage just like yourself. What advice would you give to those? I'd give the advice that, look, you know, you have to have your arguments ready, yeah. especially if they're from our side. Mm. You know, we have a verse in the Quran where Abraham says, That these are our arguments that we gave to Abraham against his people. So we believe that, you know, having arguments, having the sharpened sword arguments coming to Speaker's Corner is a prerequisite, you know, and at the end of the day, if one doesn't, because look, this man came to me, I didn't come to him. He came to me with a series of hunches and anecdotes. I'll give you guys, I'm talking about this happening in the Muslim world and that's what, wherever. And then when he's confronted, bride, well, yeah, yeah, we've heard it all well, and, then we, and then when we, the when he's confronted with a Islam. range of sociological arguments, mm -hmm. theological arguments, the girls, scriptural arguments, exactly. and philosophical arguments, he's, he's left to conclude, for example, that Jesus Christ can command to kill a child. That's okay. But the Prophet marrying Aisha at a certain age after he waited for her to be ready, that's not okay. You're conflating the Israelites being at war in the Old Testament. I hear you, but final, with the New question, Testament. final question. What can be done to in encourage more women to come here to debate? I think people like this have to leave the park because <laughs> <laughs> people like me and you, the handsome ones, they can come. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm only king. But you know, I think the reason why women are not, uh, you know, attracted to this place is because of the vulgarity associated with it. The and there's too many men. Yeah, inhospitable environment. Mm. You know, you have too people, much violence. Too much violence. Yes. In the head. Oh yes. And people, and, and not only that, people if provoking other people as well. Okay, to provoke to violence. Yes. Yeah, pro okay. provocations. From to the violence. religion of peace. But thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. You're very welcome. But earlier on, yes. you said you're now going to sum up with your team. Why is that bit, the summary, important? A summary is always important because if you can't say something in a few words, you can't say it at all. Mm. You know, Albert Einstein himself, he defined genius as being able to take a complex idea and summarize it in very important points. So the summaries that we leave for the people at the end of our discussions, actually, and in fact, in psychology, there's something called recency effect, primacy effect and recency effect. A recency effect is the, the impression someone is left with at the end of a discussion. So people tend to begin to remember the beginning and the ends of something. As we have seen today, the beginning of my argumentation and the end of this man's career. Hold on a second, step hold forward, on. Step I, I, yeah, I don't want popularity. And so talking about the end of career, let's talk about the holes in the narrative. What, let's talk about that from last no year. No problem, let's what talk about the holes in the narrative. Yeah. Please, really the what? biggest hole of the narrative we've seen today is when a man says that having intercourse with a person of a certain age, which is disputed, might be morally unacceptable, but then says that uh, uh, killing a child can be acceptable if Jesus commands to it. I think that's a big hole in the narrive of infallibility, of biblical it's inerrancy. God who gives life of, and God takes of, away of life. Yes, yes, so okay. Jesus can kill who he likes. God can the kill. Greatest example. God can rape. So, God can but rape. God doesn't do that. God oh, he can command that. to God it as well. God, God doesn't do that. Anyway, and he, and he never mentioned that in the group. He, he, he never it. mentioned that. We've, God, we've covered his that. God, he did this story even the animal. Kills, kills the cattle, the kills the animal. That God. Does the baby that against God. rock. That God. That he's God. In the Old Testament. The blessing is the, the one who does Israel. it. That's so yeah. he doesn't and this do it. Yeah. This is one of the reasons. Little girls are dying today. This is why people leave Christianity. Little girls They look at the Amalekites. Don't leave in it anything that breathes. There's no verse in the Quran equivalent to that. There's because no verse in the Quran, teachings. there is no verse teachings. in the Quran equivalent to the little girls the are dying men, today. the women, the, the livestock and even the donkeys. Burn everything, burn everything. everything. Kill everything, little burn girls. everything. Kill the donkeys. And he dared, and he dared to talk. You care more about donkeys than little girls. And he did, and he shared <laughs> more about donkeys Imagine how you would have to kill a donkey. Imagine, imagine it, please. He's a church for the last two thousand years. And you they want to they abuse imagine everyone. Imagine, imagine what's your name, brother? Yahya. Yahya, yeah. imagine, imagine the situation Focus, yeah, yeah. where someone's going around with a knife, the donkey's minding his own business, and he gets stabbed. You care more about the donkeys than the little girls. 
<laughs> little girls in the Islamic, in you, the Islamic you know, world. You know, care more the, about the, that. The worst, the worst. His salvation is dependent about the killing of his own son. The father, he forsake his own son. That's right. And without that's blood, right. that's no right. blood, no salvation. For your sin See how sin. Dracula, a <laughs> bloody right. God he has. For your sin. See how <laughs> bloody sin. God he has. As like opposed it. to well, well done, kissing well a black stone. Anyways. As if that's going to give you, <laughs> as as if that's gonna forgive you your sin. God gave his soul. 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 God g